What is managerial accounting, also called management accounting? Managerial accounting is focused on providing financial information to internal users, such as managers and employees. Managerial accounting applies to all types of businesses, including service, merchandising, which is selling products to the public, and manufacturing, as well as all forms of ownership, such as a sole proprietor, partnership, and corporations. The focus of managerial accounting is to provide information so that internal users can make appropriate decisions, both strategic decisions, which are focused on the long-term goals, and operational decisions, focused on the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. But what exactly do managers do for an organization? We can divide what management does into three broad functions, planning, controlling, and decision-making. Although they seem pretty self-explanatory, let's explore each one individually. What is planning? Planning is when management sets future goals for an organization and then figures out how to achieve those goals. For example, when General Motors announced in November 2016 that they planned to close their Oshawa, Ontario production plant, as well as four production facilities in the United States, they did it because they wanted to meet changing demand patterns by their customers and to save an estimated $6 billion U.S. by the year 2020. The closures were a way of achieving their plan, and their plans were made in order to meet the company's overall goals. That's planning. Not only setting the future goals, but also determining how those goals will be met. What is controlling? How do we know if an organization's plans are implemented properly? How do we know if the organization's goals are actually attained? We can only figure that out if we measure our performance against the original plan and monitor the outcomes. Once we have the results of that comparison, called feedback, we can make adjustments by changing the plan. For instance, after General Motors closed the Oshawa production facilities and the four facilities in the USA, management would have compared their expected $6 billion US dollar savings to the actual savings the company experienced. This would allow the company to determine if the predictions turned out to be true. It also gives management an opportunity, given the feedback, to make additional changes if the plan is not working as management thought it would. That's controlling, comparing actual results with predicted results, obtaining feedback, and making further adjustments. So, what's decision-making? Decision-making is when management chooses between alternatives. It's actually interwoven with planning. For instance, in order to plan, it's likely that management will have to choose between alternatives. Management will use the accounting system to obtain information to help them decide between alternatives, improving the decision-making process. For example, when GM was making the decision on which production facilities to close down, they likely considered not only the location in Oshawa, but also their plants in Woodstock, Edmonton, Vancouver, and Montreal. Using information from their accounting system would have helped them to choose between the five plants and resulted in their decision to close the Oshawa production facilities. So management's responsibilities include planning, controlling, and decision-making. This is a continuous process which organizations must use in order to be successful in the long term. Let's test your understanding of management's responsibilities by completing a solve it question. Remember to pause the video and answer the questions yourself before I answer it for you. Consider each of the following independent scenarios and determine which management responsibility applies, planning, controlling, or decision making. Choose the one that you consider more appropriate. 1. Managers at a convenience store compare the current month's sales to the same period last year. Comparing this year to last year is a performance measurement which provides feedback. This will allow management to make adjustments moving forward, and therefore, it's controlling. 2. Managers at a retail store have set a target for the store to increase customer satisfaction over the next two years. Here is a goal with regards to the future, which will be used as a target to develop a game plan. That's planning. 3. Management is considering one of two different equipment investments in order to increase the efficiency of the production process. They decide to look at the future cash flow for each investment. Management is considering two alternatives to increase efficiency using accounting information. And that's decision making. 
That's it for the solve it questions of applying your understanding of management's functions to different scenarios. Consider going into your workplace and seeing if you recognize these three activities in your place of business. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.